series in finance time series analysis is quite popular in uh, finance in in varieties of areas in research in uh, quantitative trading in risk management portfolio management you name it there are many areas where time series modeling is is very popular and we're going to see actually where uh, you know you can use time series in uh, in finance and where it's used in the industry also in academia uh, so time series modeling is about uh, you know using uh, time series data to forecast the future right and what is time series data time series data is a sequence of data points over time collected over a regular interval like you have stock prices daily stock prices or gdp for each quarter revenue uh, for each quarter so that's a typical example of time series data and some of the popular technique used in time series analysis are you know ar ma auto regressive models moving average model arima models arch gauge models vector auto regression var models so uh, there are many forms of time series models you can use not just statistical or classical models you can also use a more machine learning type time series model such as the lstm model right um so time series analysis is primarily used for forecasting right you want to know the future values of the time series in this case it could be stock price stock return or revenue any of this you know time series variable and you want to focus the prices of the financial assets whether it's stock or or bonds or any of these financial assets and that's where you use the you know the time series uh, forecasting models arima model is very popular as uh, quite popular uh, in many areas of financial research uh, there are alternative to that nowadays for example the lstm is now becoming more popular thanks to the popularity of uh, artificial intelligence Uh, many companies especially the trading firms are nowadays using uh, lstm for forecasting and uh, there are some evidence of uh, it being better in terms of performance compared to arima although that can be debated disputed um yeah um there are other areas of use for example in risk management you can use time series models also uh, in many areas of risk management you use time series model for example if you're building credit risk models especially for you know uh, provision calculation in ifrs 9 you need to uh, determine or you need to have the you know future values of macroeconomic variables there you use um, you know time series analysis right a lot of banks actually get the data from you know research agencies so they do not perform that themselves but many banks do use times analysis to forecast uh, the values for the macroeconomic variables inflation interest rate gdp unemployment rate and etc etc but regardless of who does it whether it's you know specialized research firms or the banks themselves do it you need to use time series models and varieties of time series models uh, ar ma arima in many cases vector auto regression um ECM models, error correction models, right? So, arch guards uh, are also very popular models uh, for volatility for uh, forecasting, right? So, in risk management, very uh, various uh, areas of risk management, you also use time series models. Um, but also in asset pricing, for example, time series models are used. Um, um, arch guards models. primarily are used in asset pricing because that's where you need to know the volatility or the sigma and that's uh, for which you use the volatility time series model such as arch and gauge it's also used in value at risk calculation var is a very popular matrix used in risk management within finance uh, value at risk is used for reporting of market risk uh, or assessing the market risk and that's where also time series uh, modeling techniques are used in portfolio optimization also it is used um 
not in banks but especially in trading firms and different private funds they use time series analysis to model correlations and dependency between different financial assets you know there are varieties of uh, techniques such as you know one technique is called cointegration cointegration is is a is a time series modeling technique using which you know the different funds uh, you know the private funds or you know trading firms when they do trade they they they, they find relationship between uh, financial assets um you know it could be a very simple relationship that you know the stock price for microsoft is quite related to the stock price movement of apple or or google right uh, whether they are co-integrated or not uh, is something you can find out using time series models and then you can have a suitable trading strategy based on that if there is a dependency between you know two uh, financial assets you can um you can use time series forecasting technique to know that and then come up with a strategy to optimize the return based on uh, the given amount of risk you want to take and there are more advanced modeling techniques such as copula based models and multivariate gauge models so gauge is you know more volatility models If you're familiar with the uh, volatility models this is a very famous one gauge models it can be also used to you know model complex dependency between different assets in trading as i mentioned just mentioned trading is is quite heavily used uh, not just in finding pair or is also called pair trading but also in uh, other forms of trading for example uh, finding out moving averages you know momentum indicator you know trading based on momentum indicators is also quite famous uh, in technical analysis there also um, time series modeling techniques simple modeling techniques are used uh, portfolio monitoring is one other area where time series analysis also is also used for example you know um, monitoring uh, the the default rate or the loss rate cure rate Uh, these are you know the risk events that banks or any financial organization we will like to track and in order to do that you will obviously want to forecast them right in the future and that's where time series analysis is also used to forecast um the default rate for the future or the loss rate for the future um beside that you could also use time series modeling forecasting you know loss provision especially for internal purposes Uh, of course you uh, do not use uh, univariate time series models to forecast provision loss uh, in many cases that won't be accepted by you know uh, regulators you will have you know more structural models um, with multiple sort of variables uh, but time series analysis can definitely be used for benchmarking purpose for example for loss forecasting or provision forecasting um time series models are also used to uh, predict future risk especially uh, in the climate risk or esg risk area people are using uh, time series models quite heavily actually uh, in forecasting uh, physical risk events in particular uh, which is related to climate risk uh, that that's also being in and climate risk is now very very you know uh, popular it's 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 the talk of the town in in uh, in the banking and financial service area so there also it is quite heavily used in economic research also uh, time series model uh, models are used in fact time series analysis is part of econometrics which is nothing but uh, you know the statistical data analysis for economic uh, research so it goes without saying therefore that uh, time series models as you would expect heavily used in economic research in many areas of economic research whether it's consumer research you want to forecast the consumer behavior some of the indicators related to consumer behavior in the future you use time series analysis beside you also use time series analysis to forecast uh, the values of macroeconomic indicators the gdp unemployment rate inflation so on and so forth you also use time series analysis for scenario analysis scenario analysis is something that is quite um, quite popular in stress testing you forecast different scenario and values of different macroeconomic variables for different scenarios using time series uh, modeling okay. and then in academic research well 
the, the well the technique has come from academic research so it is quite expected that you will uh, find uh, many uses of of time series analysis in um, academic financial research um, especially in microeconomics uh, you know uh, like forecasting inflation and and gdp and all this many central banks do use uh, time series analysis but uh, beside that even um, you know applied finance people eh? people working in academic research in academic uh, applied finance whether it's corporate finance or risk management asset pricing uh, you name it uh, all areas of finance it is um, it is very very i mean the techniques uh, time series techniques are quite quite uh, popular there there are many areas uh, in which time series analysis is uh, used in in finance in quantitative finance or in, in different areas of finance so it's one of the must know technique um in in uh, if you want to work in finance actually right a lot of people uh, make this mistake that they learn regression modeling they learn machine learning all the things but do not learn time series modeling actually time series modeling um is bit more complex compared to regression modeling uh, the theory part is more complex and therefore many people skip that and they just learn linear regression logistic regression different other forms of regression modeling but not time series analysis thinking that it's not of much use but time series modeling is quite heavily used in finance let me tell you especially the volatility modeling uh, the arch gauge model in fact these techniques were developed primarily for financial research so if you want to work in a broader area of finance these this is uh, time series uh, modeling um, knowledge of time series modeling is is a must have okay thanks if you have questions do not forget to contact me you can also ask the questions in the comment section thanks for watching and see you in a next in the next video